computer. Okay. Good morning, everybody, or no, afternoon, I guess. It's 12.04. Uh, Tuesday's workout. I'm glad I had that written down because I couldn't have told you what day it is to save my life. Um, so quickly, we got Ron and Missy just moving those joints, getting things warmed up while I do this quick intro. Um, going to change it up today. Going to be a fun one, but not uh, taxing in other ways. Um, Oh, you guys can't see that yet. So let's just kind of start moving if you haven't yet. Oh, our biceps are sore. If you guys joined us yesterday, you should be too. Or you were slacking and I was only using 10, so you should be sore, especially if you used anything heavy. So let's go two quick rounds, five push-ups, 10 lunges, five each side, 15 sit-ups and 20 jumping jacks. So at your own pace, remember push-ups, Knees level one, toes level two. Just nice and easy, get things moving. Oh. I got pops going everywhere. sit-ups don't have to be super strict just get them done Slow today. All right, once you're done with round one, hit that back to round two. This weather sucks though. Yeah, I'm gonna be outside again. All right, this one. So today we are gonna do 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, eight different exercises, but on that rest, three burpees. Every single 30 seconds, we're doing three burpees on that rest. Um, that's prescribed if you're starting to struggle with three burpees. If you're not even sure you can do three burpees, do two. Do one, do a sprawl, which is a burpee without a push-up. Either way, pick something you can do throughout and try to stick with it. I don't want you to burn out in round one. No, oh, that's right, that's three. It's three rounds, because we gotta make it 25 minutes. So three rounds through. Um, so we're gonna do about 75 burpees by the time we're done, 74. 
All right, let's see, 24, 36, 70, something like that. Uh, yeah. Who's ready for some fun? Yeah. All right, so we got fairly easy exercises uh, today. Dumbbells, of course, are needed. Uh, first one's just gonna be skaters. So I want you to take that big leap to the sides, make them big. Really work on that single leg balance. Uh, so what you're gonna see for me, I'm gonna start on one, I'm gonna jump to the other, and I'm gonna find that balance point, jump back, find it again. So we're really working that kind of side to side movement like we would on a trail. It's gonna really help build those ankles. Uh, I got some different dumbbell movements for you today. So we're gonna start with axe chops. It's basically, you wanna start at my one hip, and I'm gonna slide it to the other side. I'm throwing it. Um, the axe chops, you can do them from any direction. I'm, you're going from down to up. So it's just a take it and to throw it up. The trick here is I want, my, want your core tight. I don't want you to turn. The weight moves, my core does not. So as I move in here, you can see I've got that weight moving. It's really gonna challenge the core. We're gonna go down on our knees today for this exercise and the next two. Uh, just to make that extra core work, core work extra. Uh, and just work again some more on that balance, feeling your body where you're at um, around the world. So this one I've been playing with because I know a lot of us have some lighter weight and it's not as difficult with a lighter weight to do here. So I'm starting on the front, tipping it and bringing my arm right over my head, back far, arm over again. So if you don't have a heavier dumbbell, you can take your two lighter ones and do it with that way. It's a little bit more awkward, uh, but it'll get you a little better workout. Third exercise, or fourth exercise, half moves. So we're gonna go up and over and down. Normally we'd touch if we had a plate, but I don't think many people have plates. So just a dumbbell up, same thing. I'm really crunching those abs, starting here. <laughs> Lifting and controlling that way using my abs. If your abs aren't tight, you're not gonna feel much here. So really tighten those abs, reach high, take it out long instead of into your body. The further out it is on the way down, the harder it gets. One-sided suitcase deadlift, i.e. squat. Put the dumbbell in one hand, good squat down. Again, if you have a little heavier weight here, it's a little bit more helpful. And uh, uh -huh, there we go. If you don't have heavier weight, let's go ahead and lift up a leg. So I'm gonna have left leg down, weight in my left. And I'm just gonna do pretty much a one-legged baby squat. Just gonna go down, push it up. Uh, so that's one way to make it a little harder if you don't have heavier weights. Uh, number seven. Dumbbell head hold or catch and release if you've got a really light weight. So I'm gonna take my dumbbells, I'm holding the head, I'm just gonna hold them. If it's too light and I'm not getting enough grip strength, I'm gonna pick them up, release, and catch them again. This is gonna burn, even if you only have light weights. And then the last one is toe touch sit-ups. So I'm gonna sit up on the way up, I'm gonna bring those feet up, and I'm gonna do a little butterfly here and I'm gonna touch. So sit up to touch. Back and touch. Almost a V up, but not quite. Or a tuck up, just changing those leg positions. All right, any questions on that? Nope. Remember, three burpees on rest. So as soon as that timer dings, do your three burpees, do them fast, do them slow, whatever, just get three of them done during that rest every single rest and yes there's an extra rest in between rounds so we'll go all the way down through take our rest all the way down through again three times total you were looking at 25 minutes and 40 seconds all right and let's get started in 10. remember starting with those skaters make sure you have room pick up one leg and go Big, big jump. Find that balance point and jump back. Definitely 
definitely notice one leg's a little quicker than the other. That's all right. Just keep pushing it over. Two, one, rest, three burpees. All right, next is gonna be those axe chops. Find a good spot to kneel down. Pick up your dumbbell. Put it on the side of one hip. And we're gonna go up and chop. Back down to that same hip. Really keeping that car tight. Arms nice and straight. Let that weight be heavy. And switch sides. <laughs> Two seconds and time. Three burpees, three burpees. Again, one or two, depending on the weights you have available. Two, one, and go. So around and back. We're trying to keep that tension on the whole time. This is the one that messes up your hair. Because your arm should be really close to your head on that way around the top. Two, one, and put them down. Three burpees. Nice work. All right, back down, half moons. So we're just starting on the side, up and over. Again, keeping those arms long. And go. I'm just pinching my dumbbell in between my hands, letting it rest. It's really, really working that shoulder. Bicep on the way down. You do not need a heavy weight for this. Oh yeah. Less than five. And put them down, three burpees. Nice. Good work, good work. Halfway through round one. All right, that suitcase deadlift. Uh, again, if you have a heavier weight, you can do just a regular squat slash deadlift, whatever. A little lighter weight and go. A little lighter weight, you can try for that one-legged squat. It's more of a front squat. My knee is going over the toes a bit. But it's doing that same purpose of challenging that balance. Make sure you're keeping your shoulders even. We don't want this. Works that core. Keep it even. And time. Three burpees. Great. Whew. Those are gonna suck by round three. Yep. I like it. All right. Dumbbell in the other hand and round two. Ooh, I can tell this is my non-dominant leg. It's much harder. Oh, 
And time, three burpees. Get both dumbbells ready. We're gonna hit that grip. All right, two, one, and go. So again, pitching those heads. If it's not heavy enough, pick up and release a little bit and catch. Oh yeah. Stretching those forearms out that we worked yesterday. Woo. Tell you what, I've only got tens here and this ain't easy. Five seconds. Two, one, and drop them three burpees. Great. All right, one more exercise left in round one. Uh, toe touch sit ups. Again, it's a sit up butterfly, touch the insoles of those shoes, and go. Back here and up. Back, touch. <laughs> Little awkward, but go with it. No wonder room playlist. I was going to say, I didn't think I heard these songs. Here we go. All right, almost there, and rest. Three burpees, three burpees. Let's see, if I did it right, we have one more minute rest. If not, we'll go into it, because <laughs> why not? Woo, not too bad, not too bad. Yep, there we go, I did it right, okay. Not too hard, but definitely a good workout. Good. Mark always tells me, you can't kill him every day. <laughs> like whatever you try to kill us every day every day i know right mark's like a three rounds is sounds good he'll do six i know oh, right <laughs> i guess it's a good thing i'm in the morning classes <laughs> well we usually we do the workouts i do it more myself right now but usually together so we'll go back and forth and yell at each other. That's too much. That's not enough. That's boring. <laughs> yeah. Some days, some days it's a long planning process. All I'm right. Not bored. Everybody up and back into skaters. Let's go. Remember, big push, big catch. Let that ankle build up the ability to catch you, to move, to be stable. I can't tell you what a difference it's made in my trail running. Ask Erica, she laughs because my ankles literally will bend completely sideways and I just keep going. Two, one, and three burpees. I don't think your ankles are supposed to bend sideways. You know, it's funny how little, they, they used to hurt really, really bad when I'd run. If slightest ankle roll, I'd be crying, and now it doesn't bother me. All right, dumbbell in hand for axe chops. And go. So again, that core is nice and tight. It's controlling, helping to control the weight. I'm not moving my torso. Torso staying forward, boom. Then switch sides. Be 
pick it up and control it down. Three seconds, two, one, drop it, and three burpees. And I forgot to do that last one on my knees. So this time, get down on those knees. Who's there? I can't see that far. Gav, what's up? All right, around the world. Yeah, the two dumbbells isn't too bad once you get used to it. Remember, we're moving our weight around our head, not our head around the weight. One, drop them, three burpees. Oh, and three. Nice work, nice work. All right, next up, half moons. Again, on the knees, let's work that car. Start on that side, arms straight up and over. It's coming almost directly overhead, if not overhead. It can be a slightly in front when you're on the side. My elbow's sitting into my hip. Back up and over. Whew. I think these are harder with dumbbells than they are with the plates. And three burpees. Now I got some sweat going. All right, why don't you guys try one round two of the one-legged squat. So pick up the leg that's not holding the dumbbell. Work on that, get a good squat and go. Squat down and come back up. It's not a huge squat. Try to keep the chest up as much as you can. Ooh, lost my balance. Definitely working that glute and that calf. There's always big butt squeeze on the top. Time, drop it, three burpees. And three. Woo. All right, wait in the other hand. Five seconds, two, one, and go. So again, I'm still working on that single leg. Switching that leg, of course. Not super fast, nice and controlled. Try to keep that weight evenly distributed on your foot or across your foot. <laughs> Whoop, if you lose your balance, find it, then go again. Oh. One time, drop it, three burpees. Nice work, guys. Nice work. All right. Dumbbell holds. Head of those dumbbells. And hold. Again, if that's easy, pick it up. Let it go. Grab it again. 
Go back again. <laughs> Almost lost it. Oh, yeah. Woo. Still easy, but you don't want to toss it. Move your arms a little bit. Three, two, one. Drop it. Three burpees. It's called active recovery. Nice. All right, last set in this round. Woo! You were rocking. All right, three, two, one. Sit up, reach for those toes, and back down. Yep, it's a little awkward. You gotta kind of find your technique. Just keep working at it. Almost there. A couple more reps. And three burpees. Perfect. Minute 15 rest, just like I like it. Okay. Woo. Get you some water. See, how did you know? I don't know. Hi, Gav. How's it going? Fine. How's it going? Tell her what was delivered today. Trampoline. Oh, nice. Legs are going to be burning. Not today, of course, but in two days. What? The legs will be burning in two days. Yeah. I just hate, dude, like, Mark and I were laughing. We were messing around the other day on it. I am so mad about the whole inner ear dizzy thing. Do you get dizzy? Oh, you instantly. Like, one backflip, dude, and I'm dizzy. Oh. One front flip. Like, the knees to front, like, I have to stop. <laughs> Makes me so mad. Okay, well, Saturday, everyone needs to do 40 burpees. <laughs> All right, skaters, let's go. Round three, hit them skaters nice and big. Remember, we're trying to force that leg to catch. Mark it on explosive power and catch. If you get a, the rhythm down, you can speed it up, but make sure you've still got that balance. Whoop. You lose that balance, take a quick break, find it again. Last one and burpees. Whew. Nice work. All right, down on those knees for those X chops. Right. Pick that side, start at that hip, and pull it across you. Nice and controlled. Again, torso not turning. We're facing forward. And switch direction. And three burpees. Nice work, nice work, guys. 
And around the world, down on those knees, one or two dumbbells, around close to the head. Good. Don't lose that up front, Ron. Keep it right here up high so you keep that tension up on the front. So keep that dumbbell right under your chin. Boom. Yep. And time. Three burpees. I'm working all that hard, but I'm definitely sweating like I am. All right, half moons. Nice and go to that hip, arms nice and straight, up and over. Oh yeah. Make sure you're controlling that core. I don't want your upper body to move. <sighs> Fight through it, fight through it. <laughs> Couple more. Last one, time, three burpees. Woo, nice work. All right. Last half, last half. Start with that suitcase deadlift. I'm gonna go one-legged again, go ahead and go. You guys can do two if you feel that was better, either one. Just really work on keeping yourself nice and straight. I don't wanna see any tilt. So you're actively working to counterbalance that weight by using your core. Oh, three seconds, drop it, three burpees. Especially if you're going single, make sure it's not collapsing in. Whoops, lost the balance. Almost there, five more seconds. Two, one, drop it, three burpees. say, but I'm going to feel it. All right. Dumbbell holds. One and go. Again, get a little swing action. Get a little opposite swing action. Ooh, that's even harder. Woo. Let it go crazy. Try to move it all around. Shake it, shake it out. Oh yeah, five seconds. One, drop them and three burpees. And 
three. All right, last exercise. Sit up, toe touch. One and go. Sit up and touch. today because tomorrow is going to be a good one too. Nice and brutal. Whew. Not too bad. Maybe I should have made it four burpees on the rest. <laughs> All right. That's, yeah, right? We'll make it harder next time. No, that wasn't too bad. I'm still so sore. Uh-huh. That's why I didn't go to that. So I was like, all right, this will be good. All, all right. right, guys and gals, get you take a couple Thanks, of Thanks, everybody. Great work today. Heck yeah, you too. Get a good stretch in if you got time. Will do. Take care. Bye. All right, bye. You're muted, Missy, by the way. <laughs> You're muted.